Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to customize uh, effects and attributes of different types of swords uh, that we implemented last time. So that means here we have last time we implemented a sword called Fencer and Glimmer the, that are child classes so that are that belongs to the same one-handed sword class uh, but they need to have different gameplay effects such as uh, the radius damage radius and heavy damage and light damage stun effect so what I'm going to do today is in the base weapon class I'm gonna add these uh, variables damage radius and gameplay effect for heavy damage and gameplay effect for light damage and stun effect so that we can customize these gameplay effects and the attri and attributes in the weapon blueprint itself and they will be dynamically retrieved when the gameplay ability attack sword is activated in the runtime and those uh, effects that are retrieved from the weapon will be applied on the enemies so in this way we will have a simpler way to customize the uh, customize properties and effects of different types of weapons so here now we have like always we have the great sword and the glimmer and fencer and basic sword and in the inventory we can equip whatever the weapon we need we have collected we can switch to whatever the weapon we want and based on the weapon the damage amounts and the applied gameplay effects for the enemies who get hit by these weapons will be changed so this is what we are going to work on all right so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page uh, once you become a member you can download anything without a limit i'll leave the link to the project files in the description and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series so here you can watch all other episodes as well for free in my channel i'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below right and now let's get back to today's tutorial all right so first let me show how the properties of each weapon is implemented right now if I open this attack sword ability here you can see damage radius and uh, game da heavy damage gameplay effect and light damage gameplay effect and stun effect so you can see these things are included in the attack sword gameplay ability so this attack sword gameplay ability is granted to the character when the character equip this sword so now that i have multiple sword types here weapons you can see we have this basic sword and the fencer and glimmer because these are child classes of the base sword basic sword uh, these weapons also contains the same gameplay ability attack sword so they also have the same damage amount same rare damage radius and same damage gameplay effects so now what i want to do is if i want to customize uh, each of those properties radius effects if i want to customize either i can create attack sword gameplay abilities for each type of these swords or I would if I implement a way to embed the these gameplay effects and the radius these properties inside the blueprint 
of the weapon and dynamically retrieve them as those abilities are activated activated then i can create variables inside the sword and assign these parameters this uh, gameplay effects and the radius basically those are the two things i can define them in the blueprint itself so that's the approach i'm gonna try now so let's start with i don't want to change anything that i have already implemented in this gameplay ability so i'll simply define these in the sword and then at the beginning of this gameplay ability activate i'll retrieve those properties from the blueprint so yeah damage radius what's the default value here it's 80 uh, let me copy this and this is i think it would be better if i implement this in the base even though some weapons like shields may not have a reason to have damage effects so yeah maybe i'll just implement it here no if they don't have let's just let's just not use them okay here i'll add damage radius by default it has 80 and damage heavy oh sorry copy and paste that's what i'm doing here Control c select the variable section Control v um, stun effect Control c Control v okay now these default values are also assigned so no need to change them now here in the weapon base i have implemented this bpi weapon and from this i'll add a function get weapon data and it should return damage radius load and uh, well is it a good idea to have a single function that returns everything maybe yes maybe no I'm not sure so mm -hmm. Can I copy them? I can't. GE damage heavy. This is this means gameplay effect heavy attacks. Heavy damage. Gameplay effect. It's a class reference and ge damage light ge star so these things we have already worked on it on them in previous two previous videos so you, i hope you remember what each of these represents did i miss anything for now no okay all right now let's implement this here in the weapon base uh, to this weapon get weapon data damage radius damage heavy Damage light, stun effect. 
right. Now let's go here. I'll add a new function. What should I call it? Mm, initialize ability. So here I'll call get character. Oh, one thing this get character so this does a casting of the avatar actor from actor info into a character so i don't see a reason to do that every time we activate the ability therefore we can get character we already have a character variable if not we can initialize this and then we can get a weapon get weapons using this weapon wielder interface from the character so if this is valid i don't think we have to do this if it is not valid that means we haven't initialized so weapon r this is the attack sword sword will be on the right hand so we can use the weapon r just to be safe i do is valid and then get weapon data right and from here i can assign damage radius is in this and uh, damage heavy damage light and star Sign them like this and that's all that's all we need to do here so here now in the beginning of this ability activation I'll call initialize ability right now the system must be using whatever the effects and the para and the attributes that i have embedded inside the weapon blueprint itself in this attack sword gameplay ability now let's see if everything is still working all right let me just pick one of the swords and check if everything is still working why isn't he responding Oh, this guy's faction ID is zero. I need to make it one. Okay. Now he should respond to my footsteps. Yeah. Let's do an attack. Yeah. Things are still working. Nothing is broken. Great. So, now, just for testing, let me just to see this is working here the damage ge damage sword heavy for the glimmer glimmer means this sword this one so here i'll change this damage heavy heavy let me increase this to a large value let's say like minus 200 that should instantly kill if 
the enemy got hit by a heavy attack. It did. Oh, sorry, I didn't assign it. So let me assign this to the glimmer as the damage sword heavy gameplay effect see the enemy was instantly killed because I have used this but I don't want to use that so maybe here let's say we have minus 30 that's something larger uh, some l a bit larger value for the glimmer so yeah now just like this you can customize um, the attributes for the weapon and now that I have changed the structure I think for the great sword we have to reassign the Oh, this is collectible. I want to change the great sword. Yeah, so this is damage sword heavy. Damage great sword heavy. GE damage great sword. And first time I haven't created any custom gameplay effects, but you can create them and assign them as you wish. Now that we have the structure. Also, one other thing is, if you want to completely change. The gameplay ability that handles the attack behavior of the sword whatever the sword you need or you can do that as well so the way you do that would be uh, for each weapon you will have to create a collect sword well we have already done that collect sword and when we collect the sword we assign this gameplay ability equip sword unequip sword so this for this equip sword when the uh, sword is equipped you can see these abilities are granted granted abilities as, as ga attack sword so if you want to have a completely different gameplay ability that handles the attacking for a particular sword you can change this so you can customize it already in that level as well i just needed a simpler way to customize attributes and effects of the swords when we have same class of weapons but with different properties like different types of one-handed sword different types of two-handed weapons two-handed uh, great swords so like that so i didn't want to have a separate gameplay abilities for attacks for each different sword i just needed a simpler way so that's why i thought of doing it this way all right so hope it makes sense and thanks for watching uh, next time maybe let's work on well i need to work on other items and also i need to work on customizations of the swords that would mean like adding engravings and embedding various different perks into those uh, weapons so they will have additional uh, effects when we attack with those weapons things like that so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye